In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Passport to Advanced Math Concepts. We're in the official PSAT practice test, section 4, calculator permitted, problem 4. And we're early on in the section, so we know the difficulty level has reset. A rectangle has perimeter P, length L, and width W. Which of the following represents L in terms of P and W? We've seen this in previous questions. L in terms of P and W. That means we have to solve for L. We isolate that variable. So with perimeter, we know that 2 times the length plus 2 times the width equals perimeter. And again, we're solving for L, so let's subtract 2W from both sides. So 2L equals P minus 2W. And now we divide both sides by 2. And we know that L equals P minus 2W over W. And if you look at the choices, we don't have to reduce it any further. We've arrived at the answer, and it's C. All right, the next advanced math question now, we're jumping ahead to question 21. What is the minimum value of the function graphed on the xy plane above for where x is less than or equal to 6 and greater than or equal to negative 4? Just to review, with functions, y equals f of x. You always want to be careful as to the wording of the problem. Here, we want the minimum value of the function. Now, the value of the function is the y. That's a horizontal line. We want the point, the lowest point on the y. So the lowest point, just by looking at this, is going to be right here. We just draw a horizontal line. That's the lowest point on the y. And what is that value? it is negative 2 and that's it so just be careful sometimes the question might ask for what value of X does the function reach the minimum that's a different question for what value of X does it reach its minimum so how do we get to that point that negative 2 on the Y on the X we'd have to go 1 2 3 4 to the left and then we go straight down and touch it so if the question asked what point in the x to reach the minimum value that would be negative 4 but here the question is just asking for the minimum point of the function and it's negative 2